Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showcasing five things which hopefully you guys don't already know about in GTA Online. As always, if you do go on to learn something new in this video, be sure to smack that like button as it is very much appreciated. But starting off the video, we're going to take a look at the June Buggy because Rockstar Games reduced the price of the June Buggy to $20,000. Originally, this was worth around thirty dollars to $35,000 and there is no reason why Rockstar have reduced it other than the speculation that they might be doing something with the June buggy later on. Talking about future plans, Rockstar Games have an American football type adversary mode in the mix. We have got images and models of it. However, Yan2295 recently posted out a description of how it works. While holding the package, you will run faster but are unable to use weapons. Hold F to run past the package without picking it up. If scores are even, sudden death will continue as long as the package is held. So the moment it's dropped, that is the end of the game. Anyway, it's a pretty interesting adversary mode. I am definitely looking forward to it. It's basically an American football type adversary mode, something we haven't seen before in GTA 5. Now taking a look in Benny's original Motorworks, talking about stuff we haven't seen before, this is something which has already been added in the game since the opening of Benny's original Motorworks, but never had too much attention to it until now. Now if you take a look at the shelf in Benny's original Motorworks, you will notice there will be the hood of the Banshee, as well as loads of other scrapped parts, including the rear and front bumper of the Slam Van, which was recently added in the Lowriders Part 2, or the Custom classic update, however you guys want to come across it. Now although these bumpers are a bit rusty, it's the identical bumpers we got on the Slam Van, so who knows what else could be teased inside Benny's original Motorworks. It's definitely known for its notorious teases of prototypes before they've been added into the game, so let me know if you find something new and interesting in the mod shop. And next up, this is an awesome secret location for you guys to go and check out, and this is inside a locker just in Devon Weston's hangar. All you're going to want to do is climb onto the bench and slowly squeeze your way inside the locker or just simply press your back and lean against the back of it and what you will notice is you'll be completely hidden inside and this is a great way to surprise your friends as well as lose the police. As you can see you're very well hidden and I don't think many people are going to suspect you to be inside the locker. So with those four things done I decided to keep the last thing to something I found in the patch notes and this is something which I want all of you guys to help pitch in with this with just information in the comments and this is regarding something Rockstar Games have claimed to have fixed and this is to do with loading times in the clouds. Now as many of you guys know as you switch between missions or if you join GTA Online you will be put in the clouds for a significant amount of time. Sometimes it can be minutes, sometimes it can be seconds depending on your connection and how fortunate you are at the time but usually the cloud time period does take longer than usual. Anyway Rockstar Games have claimed to have shortened this time. I may have seen a few different is here and there but I want to know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Have you noticed the cloud loading time be a little bit shorter than usual? It's something Rockstar Games have claimed to have done in the latest update but I want to know your thoughts down in the comments section below from your first hand experience on GTA Online since the latest Customs Classics DLC. Anyway guys I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did be sure to smack that like button and if you did learn something new subscribe to my channel so you'll be updated with Grand Theft Auto 5 content every Every single day. Anyway guys, my name is Nort, I hope you did enjoy, and I will catch you guys next time.